Isaiah 58. Isaiah 58. I got it right here for you. I'm going to tell you one thing before I leave. Go ahead, get that. This book Ecclesiastes 77. Surely oppression make it the wise man mad. Right, so that brother's pissed off like that because you coming up here spewing wickedness and spewing nonsense, but it says oppression make it the wise man mad. So this brother you, you just you you think it's because you're soft that, that's that this is damn society putting that soft spirit in you like that. Men of the Lord speak like men. All right? God, this is the book of Isaiah. Listen up. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right, so when you hear a trumpet, you ain't never had no quiet trumpet in no band. All right, he says spare not. So we ain't going to spare nobody's feelings. We ain't going to sit out here and be soft-spoken like they do in these damn churches. We ain't about to do that. Go ahead, finish that. And show my people their transgression. Right, so show the children of Israel all the things that they've been doing, transgressing the Lord's law and not coming back to the statutes and commandments of the Lord. Is that, is that God. And the house of Jacob, their sins. All right, the house of Jacob, their sins, man. So we out here to tell our people what they need to do to get right, man. But you you saying that we're about question? that man's... Can I, can I ask you Go a question? Ahead. Yeah. What do you think about the Quran? The Quran is bullshit, man. The, okay, the, Quran, I'm done. the, the Quran, I just told you it says I prefer the children of earth. The, what does Quran mean? What does Quran mean? What does Quran mean? Go down the street. Hey, go on, man. Hey, hey, this is from Syria. Whatever he says, we will see in the judgment day. Hey, who, who is Allah? Who is Allah? There is only one God. Who is Allah? There is only one God. There is only one God. Allah is a damn stone, man. Listen, That's it. This is your Quran. Stone, man. This, this is your Quran. Hey, I got no, something real quickly. No, no, this no, no, is no, no, Suri no, no, no. 2 and 122. Listen, this is your Quran. Read, listen. Listen, O oh, children of Israel, remember my favor which I have bestowed upon you, and that I preferred you over the world. That's the world. the children of Israel over here. all the world. You're dismissed. That's out of your Quran, You're man. dismissed. That's in your Quran, man. That's in your Quran, man. You dismissed, bro. You dismissed. All right? Go talk to Muhammad. Hey, listen. At the end of the day, when the judgment comes, yeah. the judgment hey, is right. right. coming. That's right. Okay. So, so when you go upstairs, you'll see. I'm not going to say anything. You're going to be put to death. I'll die. You're going to be put to death. You're going to die soon. In America. In America. In America. Very soon. Yeah. Very soon. That's right. You know what? I'm very close to God to any other. Hey, that's why Yashamayala got to go, man. That's why the sons of Ishmael got to be destroyed. Because, see? Hey, hey. And see, that's, that's, that's why... That's, <laughs> and, and see, that's why Ishmael got to go, because Ishmaelites are confused to think they got the promise of the book, man. All right? They think that Quran, which only means to recite, which recites the Bible, they think that they got the promise of the Lord, man. But he bestowed that unto the children of Israel. Even they own books say it, man. We just got it. That's right. This is Amos chapter, Amos chapter 2 in the Old Testament, which you fucking Muslims subscribe to, right? A Amos chapter 2, verse 10. It says, also I brought you up from the land of Egypt and led you 40 years through the wilderness to possess the land of the Amorites, and I raised up for your sons for prophets and of your, men, your young men for Nazarites. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel, saith the Lord, man? So the children of Israel were chosen to be the prophets of the Heavenly Father, man. Not no fucking Muhammad, man. So what the, whatever that fuck nigga gotta say, it ain't worth shit, man. The most I ain't dealing with these heathens, man. It's bullshit, man. Can somebody give me Deuteronomy 29 to 29? But that's the spirit, man. You know, they come up here and, and think he knows something, man. That's the problem with these people out here. They think they got they think they have wisdom, man. Are people only wise to do evil, man? That's it. Alright, go ahead. It's the book of 20, uh, Deuteronomy 29 and verse 29. The secret things unto the sorry, the, the, the secret things belong unto the Lord, our our power. But those but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. All right, so the, the secrets of these books, of this, of this society, of what's going on, of Yahweh Hashem's Yahweh Shai words, it belongs unto the children of Israel's children forever. All right? The promises of this book belong to us and our children. All right? Forever, man. Uh, if I, before I bring the priest, I just want to say this. Like you said, Yashama got Yashama Allah gotta go. Gotta go. And, and what Yasha Yashama Allah mean, he has heard of the power. You feel me? That's how he come on, he try to act like, yeah, 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 yeah. 
uh, extreme religion, the prophet, Moses, all this shit. That's, that's bullshit, man. You think you know the Lord, but the Lord is with us, man. This is Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. Right, so the Lord is in the midst of Israel, man. The so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, and those of confusion of faith. All right? He's in the midst of Israel. He's our power. He has known no one else, man. Go ahead, more. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And right. your... So our, our children are going to be the ones to prophesy, man. All right? Our, our children and, and the men of the Lord are going to be out here to tell the words of the scriptures, man. Go on, man. You know, he, 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 the, the Lord ain't dealing with him, man. And, and see, that's what's up, man. They, 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 they don't understand any of the scriptures. They don't understand anything. All they do is follow Esau, man. All they understand is Esau, man. These people are destroyed, man. All right? And that's the spirit of the Lord, man. That's the spirit of the Lord, man. What we what, what we, uh, we, we, we watch five times precept. a day. Go ahead, and I get that. This is Second Corinthians, eleven and six. But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, but we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is made manifest into the children of Israel. One third, man. I'm talking about that nonsense. Talking about he prayed five times a day, man. He praying for preparing in vanity then. You know what I'm saying? Five times a day, just going whispering in the air. You know what I'm saying? To idols, man. The stocks and stones, man. You know what I'm saying? He got, look at that feminine spirit on his ass anyway, yeah, man. Like bitch, you know, man. You got time for that, man. Like Go ahead, bitch, right. man. He'll die in the race wars. Yeah. yeah. He's a bitch. This is Galatians. Stop, stop, stop. Come on, come on, come on. This is Galatians chapter 4, verse 28. Now we, brethren, as Isaac was, are children of the promise. We're the but, children. Oh, you want to break it down? Go ahead. Nah, nah, I, there, was, there was more, but if you want to go on. We're the children of the promise, man. We, the, the children of Israel are the children of the promise. The Lord has promised these uh, children, the children of Israel, since the foundation of the earth, man. It ain't nothing changed, man. And the Lord has not cast away his people. Verse 29. But as then he that was born after the flesh, the Ish Ishmael, Ishmael, bitch ass, huh. 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 persecuted him. That was born after the spirit, Come. the Israelites, okay? Even so, it is now. Nevertheless, what saith the scripture? Cast out the bondwoman and her son. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they, hey, basically, he's, mama, he's mad that his mama was the side hoe. Yeah. Yeah, that's really what it comes down to, man. She was a concubine. You know, she was a concubine, man. That's what it came. And he got, he, got, he got thrown out, man. You know, so he's upset that we got the, we got the promise of the book, man. <laughs> For the son of the bondwoman shall not be made heir with the son of the free woman. Ooh, <laughs> so they're not going to sit side by side with us, man. They're not going to be on our level. They're not going to be uh, receiving the promises of the kingdom. All right? Go ahead, all right? So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free. We're of the free, man. Uh, Sarah, man. All right? Uh, we're, we're, the, we're the children of the free, the promise, man. All right, but these people out here are ch the children of the of the bondmaid, the handmaid. You know, and he just saw it, man. He's upset. You know what I'm saying? And he he couldn't even his teeth was glued together. Did y'all see that? Yeah. You know, his teeth. So you know he spit nonsense, man. His teeth were glued together. He had no gaps in his teeth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man? So you know it ain't nothing but filth coming out of there, bro. <laughs> For real, man. That false wood. Come on, come on. Go ahead, all right. It's the book of Isaiah 34 and verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Come on, seek ye out of the book of the Lord. The book of the Lord is the Holy Bible, man. All right? When, when y'all got your presidents, uh, y'all even had wicked ass Donald Trump had the audacity to put his hand on the Bible. But nonetheless, even the Edomites know the Bible is the book of the Lord, man. They know that, man. It says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, man. Go ahead, right. God, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. Not one of these prophecies are going to fail, man. Ain't no prophecies in the Quran. All right, there are no prophecies. I talked to Ishmaelite uh, a few, uh, like a couple months ago. He said, "Oh yeah, Muhammad talks about the high-rise buildings." Of course, man, Esau wicked as hell, man. 
He, he liked the caves. He liked the mountains. So he's going to build these buildings. Is that the only prophecy you can tell me about in the book? But we're telling you that America's about to be destroyed. We're telling you that the so-called white man's about to go into slavery. All right? Those are prophecies according to the book. And these shall not fail, man. That's right. It says, no one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. None shall want her mate. Ain't no book on the planet Earth can compare to the Holy Bible. All right? You can't match it with nothing. You can't put it uh, side by side with nothing. Nothing compares to the scriptures of the Lord, man. That's right. Hey, the scriptures say he who adds to this will be added, the place will be added unto him, man. This is what we go off of, these, these words, man. You take away from this, you'll be taken away from the book of, book of life, man. That's right. and, and, and that's what these so-called religions, that's what they do, man. Uh, they got in the Quran, the Quran means to recite. So they, they taking away certain things out of the scriptures, added certain things, and they, what do he say? And who takes away the scriptures is going to receive uh, those curses double fold, man. You know, and uh, even... Even the Book of Mormon, they do the same thing. They took they took all those scriptures out and added scriptures, man. Yeah. All these so-called religions are wickedness, man. All right? And they're, they're going to get their judgment when they see the Lord, man. That's right. That's right. Hey, really, the reason why uh, the, the, these Ishmaelites and these heathens and, and uh, you know, uh, these, these fucking Muslims, man, the reason why they don't deal with the New Testament because Yahweh Shai didn't die for their fucking sins, man. That's right. All right? That's why, man. That's why they don't deal with Yahweh Shai, man. Because because the New Testament, Yahweh Shai came to fulfill, he came to fulfill the promises for Israel, man. Right. Right. They just salty that they got you know pushed to the side. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the that's truth, man. Too. You know, in, in Matthew, the Lord says, uh, he he came to sa uh, to save the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. Yeah. That's, that's right. the only reason he came, man. God. He didn't come to save you heathens, man. He, for all the wicked, man, you what gets me is you so-called white people really think y'all y'all right. deserve to be saved, man. Y'all people are wicked as hell, man. All of this, putting people through slavery, y'all still doing it to this day. And y'all think that y'all deserve salvation. All right? But y'all got that so-called white guilt. Y'all got it. It's in the back of y'all minds everywhere y'all go, man. That's right. All right? And the Lord is going to judge y'all for that, man. Uh, hey, Isaiah 34, verse 16 says, seek ye, out of the, seek, ye, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read... No, no one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it have commanded, and his spirit it have gathered them. And he, verse 17, and he has cast the lot for them, and his hands have divided it unto them by line. Yeah, Cons. Uh, go, you got it. Yeah, man, so, so the Lord, he, he gathered, we are gathered by this word, man. And every brother got their certain measure in this truth, man. Right, right. It says, they shall possess it forever, meaning the Israelites, because the brothers say, uh, the Lord say he's going to put prophets uh, uh, from the nation of Israel, man. And so we're going to possess this truth. I mean, we're going to possess yeah, the truth. We're going to possess the words of Yahweh Shemashah. That's right. See, I'm about to say one thing, man. The scriptures say that the prophets was going to come out of Israel, man. Okay? The prophets is going to come out of Israel, period. So what Muhammad got to say, he not an Israelite, shut the fuck up, man. Uh, That's right. <laughs> the Most High not dealing with you, man. What he got to say about the, what Muhammad got to say about the New Testament and Yahweh Shai, shut the fuck up, man. That's right. Shut up. Shut you up. ain't got nothing to say, man. Right. All right? The revelation of the Most High was not given to the Ishmaelites, man. That's right. Most High not dealing with you, man. That's right. They have no attributes of the, of the prophets, but we'll go on that in a minute. You got a scripture? All right, appreciate it. Uh, uh, this is Isaiah 45, verse 17. But Israel, Yasharala, shall be saved in Yahweh Bahashim Yahushad with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. All right, so we, we are, uh, in, in the Bible, there's three terms for world, man. Israel is a world without end, man. All right, and the Lord is coming to redeem one third of his, his people, man. All right, we are, he has an everlasting covenant with the children of Israel, man. All right, that's it. If you're not a child of Israel, the Lord don't got a covenant with you, period. Perfect breakdown, perfect scripture to line up with that. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people. Holy, man. Holy is kwadash, which means separate and set apart, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself right so the so-called blacks native americans and hispanics are a special people man unto himself that he chose all right that's a gift to be chosen man any all, all y'all olympic competitions and all of that you know y'all y'all trying to be chosen for first place y'all can be chosen by this society but we were chosen by the lord man that's right 
God, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He said below all people. Above all people that are upon the he face. He said next to all people. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the children of Israel are above all people that are upon the face of the earth, man. We ain't below, we ain't next to. We're going to be the next ruling class, man. All right? Not Moab, not your so-called Chinese and uh, Japanese people. The children of Israel are the next ruling powers of this world, man. That's right. Bro. Under our power, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh was shy, man. Right. I got a little bit more. Verse 7. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. Come on. So even though the children of Israel are numbered as the sand of the sea, he didn't pick us just because we're a big group. All right? He put that righteousness in, the, in us, and he chosen us as the foundation of the earth, man. God. Verse 8, and here's the point. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out with the mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Right. So even when we were in Egypt, man, the Lord said he, he made an everlasting covenant with us because of the promise he made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. That's right. That's, that's why we are the chosen, man. Right. All right. And real talk, y'all know it, man. That's when y'all right. see those so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, y'all like, dang, how they so good at everything they do? That's because our, can somebody give me Romans 8 and 16? You know what I'm saying? We got the spirit of the Lord, man. Right. It's, and it's nothing changed, man, since the beginning. All of the inventions, everything that y'all like, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man created that, man. This is Romans 8 and 16. It says, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. All right, so we are the children. The Lord has children, man. The spirit bears witness with ours, man, that we are his children. Not you other nations, man. Y'all ain't got no salt, no zeal. You people, half of y'all are atheists anyway. Y'all not the children of the Lord, man. When, when y'all, right, for real, when, when they pray, when they pray, man, they don't even do it wholeheartedly. You know what I'm saying? And y'all only pray when y'all got down times. That's it. Y'all got to be in a, in a something bad got to be, oh, man, my, my rent was late last month. That's the only time y'all pray. You know what I'm saying? That's wickedness, man. God. And, and just to get on Ishmael just a little bit, all right, when I, when I went over to serve in Satan's army 12 years ago, man, these fucking um, arrows, man, they don't even know how to read, man. They just go out there, they open a the book, and they just do this, man, and just recite the same shit they were taught by by their father, man. <laughs> they don't know how to read, so they they don't they, they just looking at a book, man, and just believe what the fuck they heard from their, from their elders, and that's it, man. A lot of these Ishmaelites don't know how to read, man. Can somebody give me Revelations 1 and 3? That's God. a great point. Yeah. You know, and like you said, they don't even know how to read. And yeah. you know, and, and that's a gift, man, by itself. Yeah. This book of Revelation 1 and verse 3, it says, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Blessed is he that readeth, man. All right, so two-thirds of y'all, y'all still don't like to read, man. People come out, you see, you see all of these so-called black Hispanic men on the corner, and y'all like, man, they got books in their hands. Something's going on. All right? Blessed is he that readeth, man, and keeps the words of the scriptures. Right. All right? We got books in our hands. All right? This is our weapon. Shh, shh, motherfuckers. Right. This right. is our weapon, man. Right. All right? But so that y'all living in carnality, y'all so-called white people only like y'all guns, y'all tanks. All right? But the Lord is about to come back with his power, man. That's right. To destroy y'all, man. That's right. All right? All right? We, got, we got the real bazookas. That's right. All right? We got the real ammunition. That's right. All right? This book. In these prophecies, man. That's right. All right. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 23. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Truly in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, our power is the salvation of Israel. Right. So y'all y'all only like things in vanity, man. Vanity is empty. Everything that y'all do is vanity, man. All right? Our salvation is in, is in Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Can somebody give me Psalms 2 and 1? And I, uh, we can switch out after this if y'all want something. I, know I got it right here. Right. It's oh, the wow. book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Y'all imagine a vain thing, man. Y'all go up in these churches and they tell y'all about y'all so-called rapture. 
All right? Y'all imagine a vain thing and think that everybody's going to be saved even though y'all wicked as hell, man. All right? Y'all about to go sleep with another man's wife? Y'all about to go toke up and smoke? I smell weed since I've been down here, man. All right? Y'all do all of this wickedness. Y'all about to go pray to an idol God, man? Y'all imagine vain things, man. All right? And they said, why do the heathen rage? Y'all getting mad? What y'all mad about? Right. Hey, but it's cool. We gonna get our. We had our time in slavery. Y'all gonna get yours, man. Right. Thus saith the Lord, man. That's right. So with that, I'm gonna say shalom to the elect. Shalom to the elect. Another brother wanna come up? Yeah. No, you got it, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll stay with you. Sean Cunt, like the brother was saying, why y'all mad? Hey, y'all got all y'all uh, convenience stores in our neighborhoods, you know? Y'all, hey, the reason y'all are, are sitting locked is off the backs of these people. So now we coming with the gospel telling you, look, it's your turn to serve us. You know, it's only right and it's only fair, man. Hey, hey, somebody keep going with that, uh, uh, Psalm uh, uh, 21. Right yeah, keep going, brother. Uh, back to the book of Psalms, chapter 2. Uh, do you want me to start at 1? Uh, back yeah, start again? Start at 1, yeah. Okay. Uh, Psalms, chapter 2, verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Right, and the, what's, hey, what's vain, uh, the vain thing, another vain thing is that they're going to keep uh, uh, putting their foot on our necks, man. Right. No, man. We telling you our, our creator, Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shah is coming back to take the kingdoms, man? Uh, right. Okay, it's over with, man. And that's why we can come out here boldly and proclaim it. And you can't do nothing about it. That got butt hurt, man. God. Yeah. He gonna go like kind of not say. He gonna go take. You know, he said we wash five times a day. Now he gonna go wash ten times a day. Right. You know. <laughs> and go pray to Allah that you kill those niggas on the corner. Yeah. <laughs> My feelings hurt. That's right. You know. And the reason why, and, and we saw it. When we were bringing out these precepts, every time we brought out a precept, he shook his head. But let us put a, hey, when we when we brought it out of the Quran,